Time Cricks podcast. I am one third of Small Time Cricks. My name is Mo. Kim. Mohamed Ashi. And guys, as you can see from the title of the video, we are doing the review for Trap, directed by M. Night Shyamalan. Um, yeah, so we'll just do a quick non-spoiler before we get into the spoiler reviews. But guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when the videos are coming out. We are so, so, so close. So close to 500 subscribers on YouTube. Help us out. And also... Very close to 1,000 on TikTok. On TikTok, exactly. Very close. Like, yes. I'm, I'm, st- I'm saying like double digits, like close. Mm. Am I right in saying that? Yep. Yeah. 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 I think on and on YouTube, we're only like literally like 20 subscribers away. Maybe on, 10, yes. something like that to Come 500. On. So let us get there, please. Come on. We're trying Let's to go. Show love to all the other um, social media platforms as well. Yes. yes. Please do give us five star on the Spotify and whatnot. It'll really, really help us out. Uh, even, even I have Insta now. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Can, we can put it right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Insta, his Insta, yeah. mine. So yeah, man. We need to start doing our lives on TikTok too. So that will be coming. <laughs> we, need that, to, we need to. Oof. That'll be coming soon as well, guys. Very so very if you want to see those kinds of discussions, you know what I'm saying, go to the TikTok and follow. Um, but yeah, trap, starring Josh Hartnett. You know the butcher, the freaking nut job that goes around just chopping people up. Well, the feds or whatever heard that he's gonna be here today. So they set up a trap for her. Uh, who wants to start with the non-spoiler quickly? I actually went lot to see it last night, so um, okay, he'll non- fresh, fresh in your mind. Fresh. Yeah, non-spoiler. Um, M Night Shyamalan. Yes, I think it was a. Uh, I would. What would I? How would I say? It, it was a redemption cool. story. Um, it just didn't hit. It just. It just felt flat. Really, I really, I really wanted this to be good. The expect- obviously, I think a lot of this was spoiled. The the storyline was spoiled. The whole sort of the crux of the story was spoiled in trailers and the whole everybody everybody knew what it was. Yeah. Uh, once the cat was out the bag, it made the film. It sort of took two to three notches down off the film because we understand the premise and it was like it was such a great premise. Yeah, I think execution was. I don't want to say poor, but it was. Yeah. In regards to, again, we could, it, it's it's one of, they need to catch a, a serial killer and they've trapped him in the, obviously I'm not, no spoilers, they've trapped him in a situation. He needs to navigate his way out of the, said the situation, said situation yeah. um, without sort of revealing who he is because he's in a situation. Again, <laughs> I think um, M. Night Shyamalan sort of um, failed on this one. Yeah, has she? Hmm. What do you think? I felt that the premise was amazing. I think again, Kim, I take your point. Trailers, the last ten, kind of like ten to fifteen years, have really kind of like ruined movies. Don't mm-hmm. where a lot is revealed in the trailer, like a lot, a lot is revealed yeah. in the trailer. Like prime example, Gladiator Two. Like they've yeah. given away most of the plot in that one. In regards to this film, I thought I really like this film. I did like this film. I did like this film. It has a lot of issues, which we'll get into when we get into our spoiler section. Yeah. But overall, in regards to kind of the, the cinematography, like the visual language of the film, a lot, of, a lot in close up to try and like gain an understanding of kind of like being a psychopath and all that kind of stuff. I thought was pretty cool. Um, the acting was incredible. I've, I've never seen Josh Hartnett this good in such. I think maybe Lucky Number Eleven, maybe, mm. and Virgin Suicides. But he was so good. Like he played, kind of like he did. He played bad acting so well. You know, like kind of bad acting when you're pr- like trying to pretend or lie. He played that so well. And apart from that, performance-wise, um, his wife, his, the character that played his wife, the actress that played his wife, was very good. Yeah. But other than that, everyone was terrible. And <laughs> specifically, uh, Lady Raven, who is M Night Shyamalan's yeah, daughter. Daughter, yeah. And I didn't know that till after the fact. Yeah. So she carries most of the third act of this film. Yeah. yeah. And there's times where it's hard to watch yeah. how bad the acting is and how you cannot kind of feel like feel like the emotion and the kind of like the, the stakes and the peril. Yeah. But in the complete inverse, musically, incredible. She basically yeah. did like a whole Taylor Swift concert. Yeah. And that part of it was amazing. Amazing voice, amazing talent. That way, in in in, in that way, she's actually a singer. She's got an album yeah, yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can see that, like incredible. Yeah. But acting wise, this is where nepotism falls falls so flat on its face. 
Like, <laughs> seriously. Um, sorry, I know you. No, go ahead, go ahead. no um, I, I have to. I have to um, pull back. Well, not pull back. I push have back. to. Dis- I have to push back on um, how she said in regards to the acting. I felt the acting from everybody, including Josh Hartnell, was bad. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, there was. There was. It was so. It was bad for being bad, not bad for trying to play, um, sort of like bad reactions, bad emotion, or trying to. It was just bad. So, did you not believe he's a serial killer? Of course, but then trying to hide the fact that he's a serial killer to his uh, from his daughter was so bad because he's now he's now he's in dialogue with a what a tween, yeah, say 13, 14 year old. We'll say that. Yeah, and he's talking to her like she's six or seven. Oh my god! Oh, let's go. It was so bad. And again, there are, there are some sort of. It's almost like they 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 didn't hold. Like, they literally dragged us along to say, "Yes, I'm a serial killer." In regards to the, put him alongside Daniel Kaluuya, Kano. In regards to sort of um, facial sort of action, facial acting to to tell a story, it was so. Oh, I, I really, I, think, I really want to get into. What, sorry, sorry, sorry. I really I think, go, 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 then I want to say something. I think that's what, when I have to push back. Thank go you. for it. Go for it. That because. Uh, I thought, yeah, Josh Hartnett was probably the best part of this movie for yes. me. Yeah, uh, movie was it falls. It's it's not great in it, but like at the end of the day, uh, you don't know how I judge movies. Was I ever bored in it? Yeah. I wasn't really ever bored yeah, at all. Sound as well. Incredible. Yeah. Sound was really good in that movie. Like I even spoke to my wife afterwards. I was like, I could hear everything, like all words of dialogue, yeah. everything. And I think it was probably because. Most of it was a concert yeah. as well. Um, but in terms of like Josh Hartnett's acting with his face, I don't know what it is. I've never realized before that he has this kind of like horror face. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. yeah. Like he's a handsome guy. Very but handsome. he can pull off this thing where it's like his eyes, there's something about it that's like, there's almost like no soul in there. And sometimes. then he'll do this twitch. Yeah. Because, yeah. because of the way the cinematography, it's a lot of POV shots. Right. So you see, like, obviously him talking to that other parents about that. Yeah. And you can literally see him, the seething anger and stuff like yes. that. And I felt like, in terms of obviously face and eyes, was incredible. And there was a lot of close up shots and just the eyes alone. Yeah. Yeah. Kind yeah. Of thing. Maybe, I, maybe, I wanted, um, maybe I wanted a little less. Yeah. Because I, I wanted a little less. For, again, you're a serial killer. And a lot of the, again, it's, there's a lot of POV shots and a lot of what you're giving us yeah. is observable to everybody else. Right. Yep. And everything that you're giving us, which gives us cynicism, um, sort of anger or contempt yep. of that, that woman, yeah, everyone else could see it. Yeah. So if it was a, a, like almost like, a again, a fourth wall to sort of, give those faces and nobody else could see it I understand yeah. but that wasn't the case yeah. so that that's an interesting point because on the rewatch I kind of picked up a lot more on his arrested development and the fact that he's obviously had a very very bad, bad childhood and all that yeah. kind of stuff and obviously that, that there was alluded to in the kind of when you see his mother yeah like just you know, like a kind of him kind of seeing things yeah. in a way and I think, I think we're, we're, him we're talking spoiler, we're spoiler territory could we, could we okay. Okay. Yeah, kind yeah. of getting into spoilers shall we get into spoilers yeah, let's, let's, get into spoilers. It. Right, let's get into spoilers we're into spoilers now you go first um, you didn't really give us anything oh. sorry can I just finish my point go on, on. Yeah, 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 yeah. so like the way he talks to his daughter mm-hmm. I think is a byproduct of, of okay. the way of his upbringing okay. and stuff like makes that makes sense hence the reason why like, like you said like a, a teenager is speaking to her like she's a small child it's yeah. very very strange no, that makes sense so that's kind of like that's kind of what I got from it from the second time watching it but again you guys can say having to watch it twice to get that kind of it shows you that the movie you know and I mean like you know and I mean yeah. didn't kind of articulate that yeah. properly. I thought um, I thought the movie was going to take place in one location. I thought the Me whole too. movie was going to be too. in the concert. I was literally going to yeah. say I that. I was not expecting him to get out of it. Um, I feel like you know what my biggest gripe is with this movie is the thing with the wife. The wife when he spoke to her right at the end she knew the whole time but when they came home with lady raven it was like oh honey this and that they're all hugging and having lunch together and whatnot yeah. so i was just like what is... and first of all was the concert in the day 
Yeah, because yeah. they came back in the daytime. I was just like, "What concert is in the day?" But anyway, that's that's, that's, yeah. that's how the, strange is that? Because that cause I was telling my brother, it would mean they started in the morning. Right, exactly. Yeah, Cause or like early afternoon at yeah. least. You know what I mean? Because yeah. still sunlight. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, so but um, yeah, the mum stuff, the mm. the wife stuff, all about like, oh, I followed you to the house. That you had and then i left the receipt there of the concert and i teared and half of it and then i called the police and said hey the butcher's there or at least this is where the butcher goes to whatever it yeah, is yeah, yeah. i'm just like okay so you knew this whole time but you didn't say anything but you didn't say nothing so that to me was okay. like wait what's what's Bizarre. what's happening this that was so strange yeah so with that again i've got two issues unless what? it was sorry unless it was part of the plan with the main fbi lady but they never made that clear. Yeah. It wasn't. So, so again, I got two two issues and one understanding of the situation. So that situation that you just mentioned, the yeah. whole wife and everything, yeah, that was copy and paste mm. from Ted Bundy. You know, um, the one that um, yeah, yeah, I know Ted Bundy. Yeah, yeah. no, the one that what's his name? Zac Efron did the um. Not Zac Efron. You're talking about Evan Peters, Jeffrey Dahmer. No, that's no, that's Jeffrey Dahmer. Zac Efron did um, extremely. Um, yes. Wicked and stuff. That's yeah. the title of the movie. Yeah. Who, who was he depicting? Uh, Ted Bundy. Ted Bundy. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, cool. So in that movie, you had um, what's his name as well? Um, our guy, the suit, uh, one of the best actors recently, um, Ginger Guy. What's his name? He was in Civil War. Oh. In Civil. Oh, uh, Jesse Plemons. Jesse Plemons was in. Jesse yeah. Plemons. No, yeah. was he? But anyway, so go. <laughs> let me. Let, okay, I, I digress. Okay. So on. anyway. You've got a situation where the the wife has now said to the the, police, the, the authorities that I suspect my husband to right. be said person yes. and basically leaving clues without even though you're, they're still in situations she didn't, where... She didn't per se say it was her husband. She just no, no, no. She, she suspect. Yeah, she suspected. Yeah. So that's literally copy and paste but from she, that movie. She followed him to the yard yeah, and yeah, broke no, no. into the yard after he left. Yeah. And there was just a chair and a table in yeah, there. Yeah, which, which... And also, if you had told the authorities... Surely you would have shown who it is with a picture or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which means that the FBI people yeah. would know what he looks like. Yeah, that, that was. Uh, I that assume. Was, I assume she took them off. Uh, maybe like an anonymous. Uh, tip anonymous off. tip. Yeah. But anyway, quickly before I finish, <laughs> yeah, yeah. so you've got now a situation. I believe this is how I saw it. This was. This is two movies in one, because I thought everything was going to um, be concert. played out in the concert. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then from that, yeah. it almost felt like another movie because when the, the concert was all about Josh Hartnett and yeah. Riley, yeah. I mean, um, The Butcher and Riley, Cooper yeah. and Riley. Yeah. Yeah. When they left the concert, it was all about Lady Raven. Yeah. And this is where the, this is where the film falls down because yeah. having to put the film on her shoulders. He made the daughter the hero. Yeah. yeah. Where his, it, it his daughter, never, sorry, yeah. he made his daughter the hero. It would never be, again, as I said, this is nepotism at its worst. It's <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Because I imagine, because I was thinking, I was thinking, even the second time watching it, what if they put like a Kaylee Spaney who was an alien woman? Oh, she's cold. Man. She's so good. Or if they put like another kind of really great young young actress, yeah. you know what yeah. I mean? Like for example, um, like Zendaya or something like that. I would you know even have I mean? taken that... what's her name, the singer um, Ariana Grande. I I would have because yes. she's been in some stuff. I'm not saying she'll be good, but again, there was so much. She's stuff. come from acting. She started in acting, so that's not yeah. a bad point. La- so much, yeah. Lady Gaga. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but but there, there was so much element in the whole bit of, um the sort of kind of sort of rally her fans and and then the emotions kicking in you be put you've been put in in that sort of um situation where it's either save someone's life mm. or she's taking all the responsibility on her shoulders mm-hmm. to solve this mystery yeah yeah and she's gone and done it yeah and then you've got you've got um profilers you've got actual eight you see when he was in the coffee room yeah oh bro <laughs> Sorry, excuse me, guys. Sorry, Sorry. just trying to get to that car, bro. And then he said, "Where'd you guys keep the sugar?" He's so lucky that sugar was no, in that this guy is such a crazy sociopath. Yeah. Like he can adapt to any kind of situation. Yeah. he's a high functioning one as well. Yeah. I bet. I, I guess this is the suspension of this um, of this belief. Yeah. Like you would put you put you, we now imagine sociopaths or high functioning um, psychos to be. In a position to sort of navigate these sticky situations and get out of it because we think, oh yeah, there's there's somewhat of a genius. That was just lucky. No, but I do. Yeah. But I, he he is kind of smart though. At the end, when he said, "Yo, you're you're driving us out of here," because I even I thought to myself, "How is How he going to get, get out, out of yeah, here?" Because yeah. like, again, again, that that was the the most successful part of the movie was yeah. the is he or isn't he going to get out kind yeah. of thing. That kind of like that kind of like suspense. 
and like anticipation of whether or not that will happen. It was tense. That's the that's the that was the best part of the it film. It was good tension. And yeah. I think even like everything of them of him backstage, him kind of like thinking through kind of what to do, all that kind of st- stuff. That wonderful split diopter shot between the profiler yeah. and him yeah, on stage. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Great stuff. By the way, the cinematographer of this film, who I cannot pronounce his name to save my life, which I found. Um, is an incredible cinematographer. He's the cinematographer of choice for Luca Guadagnino. Uh, who was a director of Challenges? Sayombu Mukdiprom. He's a Thai uh, uh, cinematographer. Mm-hmm. Really, was, really interesting shots was, that he picks. Uh, okay, he a lot the, of shots was amazing. He did yeah. the cinematography for Challenges. Okay. Yeah. So, movies. can I ask a question? Go right. ahead. Here we go. So, we've got the sugar situation. The who? The sugar situation. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Can somebody tell me why M. Night Shyamalan was right in the aisle? For him to so pick. this is yeah this is a known thing he's in every one of single one of his films no no it's not him in particular he said it was convenient basically convenient that yeah. the guy was there oh i'm the uncle yeah i'm yeah. the uncle by the way you at that point you might as well just say that's my daughter you know yeah. what i mean what's what's the difference <laughs> yeah that's my daughter uh, that's my uncle uh, that's my daughter um, my, my niece oh i could get her on stage on back <laughs> it's like come on like i i would rather him try to sort of leave her and go into the, the underground thing and then she's like dad why are you doing that which by that, the way he's tough for that do you get do you want to go on to <laughs> that way, way that goes back to kind of kim's point about treating like a, a teenager like someone who's kind of like yeah. going into adulthood as a, as a small child like yeah. and she's like well, what are you talking about why yeah. are you acting weird yeah, yeah, yeah. And i mean is this a, and to be fair to her credit to her she's like <sighs> she's so like emotionally intelligent whenever her dad says something weird she's like What's wrong, Dad? Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, are you not having fun? Yeah. She's like checking in on him yeah. as well. Yeah, something true. that he should be doing for her. Yeah, yeah. very then interesting. You, you've got, you've got, you've got. Um, I, I, me personally, I didn't know whether to take this movie as a thriller, a comedy, horror, a horror. Yeah, because there were so many comedic elements to it. Yet, was it meant to be comedic? That's my thing. So we definitely had that one guy who was comedic relief. The guy who that was, was selling T-shirts. Though, Fantastic. I hate that POV, that, that POV of him going Yeah he was very Over enthusiastic yeah. Which was I weird thought, I thought he was so good though But He was very good I did like him His post credit scene Was Khadija That got me That when, got me Khadija Khadija <laughs> That got me That got me, bro. Got me. I was yeah, finished That got me That got me But other than that I was just like yeah, None of this was really yeah. Banging Alright None of it was hitting so, so In the situation that we're in Yeah Would you would you have assisted? No, if you was Lady Raven, knowing that it's a serial killer there, mm. would you have assisted and say, you know what? I'm going to save this guy for the 22 year old's life. Yeah. Or call the police. Bear in mind, she has no, like, she has no connection to this guy. Well, my thing is, she had her phone up until the time when she was in the toilet. Yeah. That, that wasn't her phone. No she, ha- no, she had her own phone. Did she? Yeah. Because yeah. remember, so she had her phone. And then she played on the piano at the home. She picked up Riley's phone. she picked phone. up Riley's phone as well. From the did piano. He, did he take his phone already? Her no. phone already? No, because when she sat down on the piano, Riley came and sat down and put her phone there. I'm saying, but before that, had he already taken Lady Raven's phone from her? No. I don't, I don't remember know. him I taking don't, I don't phone from her. No, no, she didn't. So then, didn't. like, surely she would have had a phone to kind of alert the profile had, woman. A profile of her driver or something. Yeah, or something. But, I mean, I do like the tactic she used, though, to go on live. Very yeah. smart. I thought Very that was smart. good because yeah. that is that's almost real life. Like yeah. when you have stands, mm-hmm. these famous celebrities they will do anything for you. That was very smart. That yeah. Was very smart. So, but that's that's why it's like this was such a great premise, and I think the film largely worked because, like you said, bro, it was entertaining and it kept attention. Yeah. But if there was a couple of like like kind of story changes, yeah, and like and certain parts of plot were were different, a bit better dialogue too. Yeah, but yeah, this would have been so <laughs> yeah. much better. Yeah, you know I yeah. saw a review of someone on Letterboxd is like, at this point, I have to wonder if M Night Shyamalan has spoken to actual humans before. <laughs> I was like, there you wow, go. that's crazy. There you go. But um, I do want to highlight one bit when she was in the toilet mm-hmm. and he's banging on the door. And it's just getting louder and louder. I thought that right? was really good. Yeah. The sound and design, you can, and you can hear the kids, yeah, like like yelling and, and the wife yelling in the background. The sound design, and then that, that all quiets down, and yeah. you just hear them walking up very slow. It was, yeah, it was very, very yeah, good. yeah. And yeah. Um, how do you not feel about his wife kind of being saved by him seeing a vision of his mom? 
because he saw his mum at the door, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then he's walking towards her. Yeah. And then he gets tasered, obviously. Yeah. So I assume he he killed her. His mum. Yeah. Oh, I didn't. Th- I didn't do you know what? I didn't even think of that. I either. didn't think of that either. Because, yes, yeah, she's tormenting him for some reason. I don't know why. No, because um, he he she saw that he had that kind of like devil in him. Yeah. And she tried to change him, and like he was saying, like. I can't be changed. I'm a monster, basically. She never did a good job with yeah. his umbrella. Yeah. But what was interesting was the she profiler. She punished him as well. Yeah, exactly. The profiler lot. also kind of coached Lady Raven. Raven. Yeah. And I thought that was interesting because in the car, he said, like, this is a very, very, why are you doing these weird tactics, basically, in, it, in the car? Like, she's saying, she's that was it. weird. Yeah, That yeah, was very yeah. strange. It? But it, it kind of worked in a way because he started kind of like conversating with her like, like she was her mother. Yeah, conversating with her since it's all the same. But. Conversating is an odd. Yeah, bro, it is, bro. Google it. Conversating. Conversating, converse, yeah. Converse. Swear conversating Conver- is the Conversing. Word. It's conversing, it, isn't it? Yeah. Conversating, bro. Sorry guys, side note, I have to <laughs> check this. I have to check <laughs> this. Is this is a, a crescendo moment. I have to check be. this. It's <laughs> conversating a word. Conversate is a word. Gerund or present particle conversating. I guess maybe it is. Yes, it is. Mm. But it, huh. Yeah. Okay. I was I was I thought it was conversing. Yeah, it is I, I expect yeah. my apology, you know. It is that as well? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But no, no, no. <laughs> okay, look, late, look, Lady Raven again. Yeah, she. He made this about her at the end. He found a way to make made her the star. Make, make her the star. <laughs> and again, I had issues. Again, there's so much like continuity issues. So she's now been saved. He's now slipped out of a situation through his own brilliance. So many situations. So many situations. The limo yeah. out yeah. the house. Watch it. So this is again. These are gripes. I'm. So yeah, after all of this now. Yeah. The the guy that the twenty two year olds that we saved, he's now still standing on the side of the road with people, not officers. Uh, no, there was he was jumped. She jumped out the the police car without any escort and go and give the guy a cuddle. Yeah, and then walks over to and um, walks over to the, the her stand her fan who actually called him out. She hugged him. Yeah, yeah. hugged him. Yeah. But again, like, wouldn't this be done in like a police station and stuff like? It just what it, he kept on putting people in in mean, yeah. in situation. To allow Josh Hartnett to sort of yeah, for example, great. That's a good point. Like Riley would never be allowed to hug her dad as he's been literally taken into the paddy wagon. Especially someone that dangerous. Yeah, someone that dangerous. dangerous. Like that would never happen. Yeah. They would never let him touch the bike. No. You know what what, what are your thoughts about it? That possibly there's a possibility of like a number two or something. Maybe not oh. trap, but something to follow trap on. Trap two, this yeah. Story. Him, him escaping the- so that's the thing like I don't know man him escaping every situation was kind of annoying yeah <laughs> especially the last one I was just like because at first the bike thing I was like oh he's got he's obviously Dave he's mentioned got, he's yeah. got OCD so mm-hmm. he's gonna have to have make yeah, the bike yeah. straight yeah. even like when he went into the toilet and he's going crazy he's it, fixing the fixing towels, towels and yeah, all of that yeah. stuff I was like okay fair enough but yeah, I don't know. I don't want to see another one, bro. I don't. <laughs> I don't want to see another one. Like I wanted them to catch him. To be fair, it's not I've, doing business anyway, so I don't. I doubt it happened. Oh, was it not doing it's not, well? It's not doing well. Really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So again, the pre- I think is uh, M Night still is he is he still like um uh how do you call it? Like, he's living from, off past glories, from, bro. Yeah, from Six Sense, is he still living off of that? Like he's living be. off past glories, bro. Yeah, unfortunately. As I said, unbreakable. He's re- uh, yeah, what Unbreakable was amazing. I think it's a redemption. He tried, he tried a redemption story. Split, just didn't work. split really helped because everyone thought that was his redemption. Not split. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That's, it's a weird. And it's then the glass, one. which was yeah, needy. it was needy, but it, it was it was it was it was it was needed. It was, Is there anything else, guys? Because I'm 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 out of, I'm out of anything <laughs> trap wise. <laughs> wow, um, not not really. Apart from um, again, I enjoyed the sort of acid situation and. Like, yes, the sort of intricate ways of how to do stuff. It reminded me of a saw. No, did he kill anyone? Did we see him kill anyone? Not in this, not in no, the movie. Not in the movie, no. That's no, what I, I was thinking. I was, what I was thinking. Did we see him? Every he kill didn't. was before the movie started. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was, it was an esca- it was a prison break. He severely disfigured someone. With the, with the, the, so oh, this, that was that was heartless, man. Yeah. This sinister guy, we never see him kill anyone. Yeah. But we see his like tendencies and stuff. Yes. Like that, I think and we see he's capable of it. Yeah, that's what it is really. Again, which shows the kind of testament to how good that Josh Hart performance yeah. was. I was I think I was a bit sort of disappointed with him just pushing somebody over down the stairs. I wanted to see more. <laughs> Why did he do that, man? He did that so he could go downstairs and take a look no, at he it. No, to, he wanted he to wanted test. He wanted to test whether or not like they'll come off the, the door and whether or not you can then Right, yeah, okay. This felt like a, like one of those, you know, those those like games. 
um, like a Mission Impossible game and the, the guards will switch over like on cue once someone leaves someone else will come it was just it just yeah. felt like <laughs> it was just it was, you know what the, the, the orchestration like how the, the guards and the police were set up mm. they were more important than the actual sort of storyline of the movie yeah. but yeah that's it for me man yeah. it's not... about you bro um do I have anything? I don't think I really have anything. I like Josh Hartnett though. I forgot he was an Oppenheimer. Yes. Um, but yeah, he's cool, man. I would like to see him in more things. Same. Obviously, Same. I think he's great. He's taking a lot of time out of acting to raise his family and stuff like that. Oh, is that a fact? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah. Go raise he was, your family he was great brother. in Black Mirror as well. The recent Black Mirror series. There was an episode with him and Aaron Paul. I don't remember that. He's an astronaut. And oh, you're right. Was oh, he was great in that. Was very good in that, bro. Yeah, when he's trying to take his wife in yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yes, he I was remember. really good in that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh snap! I forgot about that. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, I really want to see him in more things. M Night, though, at this point, it's just like when his movies come out for me. It's just, personally, I've never been the biggest fan of him. I'll be real with you guys. Do you know and why he keeps on releasing movies? Is it because is it because he ruined Avatar for you? Bro, that that oh yeah, that's probably that true. made me so angry. Yeah. No, for so <laughs> angry. Bro. Yeah, I can like imagine. I can imagine that movie is a one out of ten. Like I'll be real with you, and yes. that's me, and that's honestly I hate doing this kind of stuff, but that's me being nice. Mm. There's, a, there's a sequence uh, that they keep they always play on YouTube. I always see this clip of the of him moving Earth, and it's just so weird how slow it is. Yeah, and it gets and how many person. moves you got to do just yes. to pick up the rock? Like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. It's crazy, <laughs> brother. But yeah, the reason why he's making all these films is because he self finances them. He, he was sorry. He self finances all these films. He has people that back him and finance okay, so, so so then he wouldn't have been able to get like a Zendaya or a Lady Gaga or someone like that then hence that reason, makes yeah. sense then yeah. why so hence the reason why if you notice he's all, he only really has one big star in his film yeah Glass he was able to uh, kind of parlay the, the popularity of Split of course get yeah Bruce Wolf and Samuel Jackson and James and McAvoy and James McAvoy yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 sure fair enough I so, guess we gotta rate this now guys um go on, go on, you know, Cam. Cam you wanna go first I'll give us a solid three. It's fair. No, it is a bad movie. I ain't mad at him. I ain't mad at him. I mean, mine isn't going to be as low as a good. I, I would probably say, like I said, ugh, it's weird. Like, I'm contradicting myself because I said, like, I wasn't bored at any point. But in terms of, like, properly reviewing a movie, story, dialogue, everything, it's five. Okay. Yeah, wow. it's a five. Wow. Yeah. I'm going to be a bit higher than that. I'm going to give it a six. Well, Fine. Fair's. Yeah, I just didn't feel that there was any redeeming quality. Bar the again, we look at when you say the like the sound design and the music. Mm. Was amazing. Cinematography was incredible. Cin- cinematography was good, but ultimately the the the, the main the, the main the, the crux of the movie was just never there. Yeah. We had we had um, appearances from Russ as well and Kid Cudi, which was cool. Kid Cudi was hilarious when he yeah, like passed that, his yeah. dad and he yeah. looked <laughs> he did what it was. It was zesty, man. He nah, was zesty. <laughs> that, that was that funny. Got that was funny. Got a laugh out of my screen. That, that was funny, funny man. He's yeah. like, what do you say? He's like, he's like oat milk, <laughs> whatever it is. He's going mad at his sister. That's why he called Josh Hartnett Zaddy as well. Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, another thing, actually, really quickly. <laughs> Sorry. Why did they highlight the fact that she had asthma? Like, I felt like that was such a thing. Like, you know, know, she went backstage. Very clearly that there was meant to be something that happens with that, but they edited out for it. Very clear. You think so, yeah? yeah. It has to be. Because, like, he focused on that. The movie's an hour and 40 minutes, so they probably cut out whatever that kind of story arc would have been. Mm. They kind of shortened down the runtime. Because uh, the film was literally an hour and 40 minutes. It, it, it would have it been interesting to see that her and the other kids interacting that she's had disagreements with. Because the only sort of visual representation of that was when she was on stage and the other kids sort of hating with the mum, shouting at the mum, like... Why didn't you get me up there? Yeah, 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 stuff like that. Bro, it who been does fun that mum think she is, bro? I wanted to. There's, but there are... Like, there oh, are I've like got that. a bad side. You don't want... Who do you <laughs> think you are? Your kid is the bully. Like, what are you doing here? That's funny. Mm. That's funny, yeah. Oh, my God, that pissed me off. I know that pissed you off. <laughs> Because you've had to deal with probably parents like that, ain't yeah. you? Bro, yeah, 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 yeah. I was looking at her thinking, I wanted it, I wanted, I wanted there to be an exception for him to grab her and pull her in the back and kill her. <laughs> because I think, oh, that would man. Be, do you know what? If he did something to her, maybe you'd okay. like, that's one kill. Fair, that. fair. Cool, yeah, yeah, that's Go cool. Go for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, she was, she was just, she was just, she was just a, a Karen parent for being, for yeah, one's yeah. sake. But yeah. I, I can't stand parents like that, man. Like, you know your kid is the problem, but you just, oh, yeah. Anyway. All right, guys. Well, that was our review for Trap. Uh, let us know what you guys thought in the comments. Did you enjoy the movie? Uh, Do you feel like M. Night Shyamalan is kind of... 
I don't know really lost his touch and never going back so I don't know we'll see but yeah like comment subscribe hit the bell so you know when the video is coming out like we said before YouTube we're so close to 500 subscribers help us out and TikTok we're so close to a thousand so help us out and follow us on all the other socials it'll be down in the description below and we'll see you guys for more reviews soon peace peace, peace.